You actually know what the uh, theory of evolution states. Now, are changes in allele frequencies testable, demonstrable, and falsifiable? Changes, you can observe changes in allele frequency. Okay, then the theory of evolution is confirmed. No. Because that's a phenomenon. There's no theory. Like, if I, if I observe something in nature and describe it, is that a theory? Describing a certain aspect of nature is that a theory? Is each or a, individual scientific theory. Okay, so wait. If I observe the way trees transfer information, is that a theory or an observation of nature? You would have to. You would have to have enough information to make a theory about the trees doing oh. a certain thing. Okay, got you. So just each describing theory is an individual aspect. It okay, so then describing. Everything. Great. So describing changes, the observation of changes in allele frequency, right. that is an observation in nature, right? And that is what the theory of evolution says. Hold on. Hold on. Confirmed. No, right? hold on. I'm asking you, you're, you got to follow this closely, okay? What's the first step in the scientific method? A hypothesis. No, an observation. Well, you got that wrong. You form, you form a, a hypothesis from the yeah, so the first step is an observation. And an idea okay. forms in your head at the same time, which is the hypothesis. Well, no. Um, if I observe something, if I observe some some phenomenon well, in that, nature... But, hold on, hold do, on. You're interrupting. Uh, Don't interrupt. If you observe some phenomenon in nature and I simply describe the phenomenon, I'm not making a hypothesis because a hypothesis inserts a new question, what's causing the phenomenon? I can describe any nature, natural phenomenon without assuming a cause. I can just describe what I'm seeing. That's called an observation. Yep. So a hypothesis is when you start positing what might be causing the thing you're observing. Yep. Therefore, okay, observing, if you observe changes in allele frequency, that's not a theory. That's an observation. No, it's a scientific theory. No, it's not. An observation isn't a scientific theory. No what's theory the of what, evolution is? No. Okay. What's required for a scientific theory? Substantial what are the constituents? Of, substantial amount of supporting evidence. Do you need an observation? Observation is part of the scientific method. Yeah. Do you need a hypothesis? A hypothesis is past is before the scientific method. The, no. I'm, the I'm hypothesis the is the second. Method. No. The sci hypothesis is the second step in the well, scientific You said method. observation. Observation is part of the scientific method. I said the first step in the scientific method is observation. What's the next step? It's a hypothesis. Right. What's the next then step? Then you have to test your hypothesis. An Enter experiment, you mean? scientific method. Okay. An you mean an experiment, right? Yes. Okay. We can take so samples then, from people all around gotcha. the world and show that populations okay. change. Hold on. Hold Confirm. on. I'm not asking for your... Hold on. I, we're just still on the method here. Don't skip to your claims. So, a scientific theory... Claims. Hold on. A scientific theory yep. is the tail end of the scientific method. You can't have a theory without doing the scientific method. So the scientific theory is the product of the scientific method, correct? The scientific method can confirm parts of the theory because the theory can include no. many different aspects. No, the scientific method doesn't confirm. The scientific method, which includes an experiment, produces what the theory is. Right. I make a prediction that populations with their allele frequency should change. They went out no. and they actually swabbed no. people's mouths all over the place no. and confirmed no. it. No, the hypothesis of something that changes is not a scientific uh, experiment. Anybody can test that, right, and say, does the weather yes. change, right? If I said, I have a... No, I, I don't want to talk about the weather. I want to talk about the theory on. of evolution. I know Okay, yeah, but it's similar because if I no, simply have an... Yes, it is. I'm going to teach you Weather, how. Weather is not... Uh, a scientific theory. Uh, are are there changes in weather? Weather is not a scientific theory. I'm asking you, if I say, are there changes in weather, is that a scientific theory? It's not a scientific theory. So how is it that are there changes in allele frequency a scientific method if if the are there changes in weather or not because a scientific Because as I theory? already gave you the definition, you need <laughs> lots end. of supporting evidence. 
No. Do the question, the does the weather the change period. and do do alleles uh, frequencies change are the same same standard of question. It's it's the same realm because, no. yeah, it is. Because you're simply asking a question about nature and it, does it change or not? That's an observation. So you saying simply observing changes in allele frequency is a theory. I'm demonstrating that it's not a theory to say changes in allele frequency. That's a description of you have, you natural would have phenomenon. To disprove what it states. Great. Let's take it through the scientific method. The observation is what? The data. No Swabs data. You don't observe data. What's yes, the you fen yes, no, you what's you the no, dude? What's the natural phenomenon you're observing? You observe. You can observe data like swabs from people. Is data found in nature? Over the world. Okay, gotcha. Okay, swabs. So your natural phenomenon is what uh, DNA genetic uh, testing. material genetic, genetic testing. testing. You're observing. Okay, you're you're observing genetic data, right? Yes. Okay. What's your hypothesis? If, if evolution is true, as no, what no, it no. states, then alleles should be demonstrably changed over population. Okay, let me, let me say it. That has been Hold on, hold on a second. Tested, hold on. It's falsifiable, which you cannot Hey, listen, do. cap to desk. Is the observation that changes in, are changes in allele frequency? You can call me Dave. Dave, is the observation changes in allele frequency? Yes, you, you can observe okay. the data. Okay, hold on. If the observation is changes in allele frequency, what's the hypothesis? You already passed hypothesis. You're up to the scientific method. No, no, listen. We already agreed the first step is observation. The second step is hypothesis. The next step then is what? experiment. Experiment. Listen. Right. Scientific you listen, method. you're not listening. Again, we both agreed on the method. If the observation, which is the first step in the scientific method, if the observation in this case is changes in allele frequency, something you can observe, that's an observation. I'm that's asking confirmed. you, hold that's on, confirmed. hold on. I'm not talking about confirming an observation, okay? If I see an, a tornado and I observe it, we're not talking about confirming whether or not I'm seeing the tornado. I'm granting that, hold on, dude. I'm granting you that we observe changes in allele frequency. That's an observation. So it's confirmed. No, we're not talking about confirming an observation. How is it the not confirmed? Dude, we're not talking about confirming an observation. That's what the scientific method No, does. it's not. If yes. I observe, no, if I observe a a uh, a rainbow and you observe the rainbow. Halt. No, you need examples because you're not thinking. Listen to me. If I observe a natural phenomenon, listen. Is, it, is evolution a natural phenomenon? Is a rainbow and evolution subject to the same methodology of the scientific method, yes or no? If you want to test something, you run it through the scientific That's a yes. So listen, if you observe a, a, a natural phenomenon, whether it's a rainbow or changes in allele frequency, and we both see it and, and confirm that we're seeing the rainbow, the confirmation of the observation is still the first step. I'm asking you, once we confirm the observation of changes in allele frequency, the next step is hypothesis. So what is the no. hypothesis? Yes. What's the hypothesis? No, you don't go back to another hypothesis. You've what do you mean back to? It. You've already no. confirmed it. Oh, so the hypothesis is, do we see changes in allele frequency? Whatever it could be. No, I'm in this instance, right? The observation is changes in allele frequency. The yeah. hypothesis is also changes in allele frequency. Has it been confirmed through the scientific method? How, no, no. You don't confirm an observation through the scientific method, dude. Listen, you observe. Do you understand what the scientific use? method? Listen. Method do you know do you what you're? Use, then? You, you the uh, if the observation is the first step in the scientific Are method. You using the scientific listen to me. Or not? Listen to me. If the first step in the scientific method is observation how could you use the rest of the scientific method method to confirm the first step it's not the first step the, it's not the first step as an observation no. what's the first step in a scientific method then if it's not observation you already, you already had your observation and you formed a hypothesis and then you tested so it. so did you need an observation 
You need to test it, right? Do you need an observation for the scientific method, yes or no? I already said five times observation is part of the scientific is method. Is it the first step? Yes or it, no? It depends how you're setting up the testing. Is the first step. Steps. Test what? How can you test something you're not observing it matter. first? Has allele frequencies been confirmed to change over that's populations? An, that's yes, an you said no, so. No, that is no, what no, the theory no, listen, of evolution listen, states. No, as it you doesn't. Said. No, it doesn't. Listen, listen, guys. No, it doesn't. Listen. Let me, let me ca calm you down because you're not thinking right now. No, they, you're contradicting yourself. Listen, no, I didn't contradict him. You yes, contradict you yourself three times. You said listen. alleles change over frequencies. Uh, That's an observation. Allele frequencies change over populations is what the theory of evolution states. That's why I'm dem I and demonstrating. And you agreed that no, that is I don't, testable no, and has been confirmed. Listen, you dope. I'm doing an internal critique on whether or not it's a theory or not. Right? right. I'm steel manning your position. I'm not agreeing with your Fuck position. Off. Do you know you don't know the difference between steel manning and agreeing? Yeah, you've coward.